Hi, she was seven. I'm back. It's finally cold in Houston. I guess I wore my Hogwarts sweatshirt. I'm so excited. Okay. This video is dedicated to the MGTOW cult. How does it feel to have the first lady of the United States well, the future first lady of the United States to be a gold digger. How does that make you feel? Does that make you feel bad? Does it make you feel sad? Does it make you feel like there's no hope left? Well, I'm here to tell you today that even though I didn't even vote and I'm not political and you know, all the controversy surrounding this election. I'm going to say the only good thing that I have seen, well, one of the things, because I've seen a lot of things, a lot of good things, but one of the good things that I've seen is that a gold digger has successfully made it as first lady. So, thumbs up for you, lady. You did it. <clears throat> um, We all know that she's not with Donald Trump because of his looks or his personality. So the obvious reason is probably money, correct? Yes, correct. So, um, ladies, we have a gold digging first lady, very fashionable, very um, extravagant. She's gonna be rocking designer everything on purpose. It's gonna be way out of, you know, <laughs> necessity. Um, they're probably not going to be comfortable living in the White House since they're used to more lavish surroundings. So you're probably going to see a lot of upgrades in that area. And, you know, when you actually have to um, dial back your fashion and um, luxury to be the first lady, you know you're a gold digger. <laughs> okay, anyway. So I'm just excited to say, yes, we have a gold digging first lady. Um, Michelle Obama was a spectacular role model first lady. And um, she's leaving with Obama. I'm so sad. But um, I think that Trump winning this election has ripped the Band-Aid off of what America truly is. America, racist. America, gold diggers, American greed, okay? This is the true face of America, whether you like it or not, okay? All the other president and first ladies who are just kind of like the false representative of what America is, you know, the perfect little family or the, uh, you know, corporate, you know, whatever, whatever. Now you get to see the truth, okay? Now you get to see what America has become. Okay, greedy, gold digging, obnoxious, narcissists. This is what represents us probably the most honestly. Okay, like I said, I don't vote. I'm not political, but I see what I see. Okay, so yes, Donald Trump is crazy. And yes, he's a clown. And yes, he won the presidency. Yes, he's a trickster. Yes, we have a first lady who's a gold digger. Yes, we have all that, but that is what America is. So if you're mad at them, you're mad at America. You're mad at yourself. That false sense of patri patriotism and that um, fake America the Great is been exposed, has been exposed, okay? Um, and I'm excited because now we get to see what America really looks like in front of the camera, okay? We get to see an old man with a young woman who's a gold digger try to run this country. Um, now, a lot of people would call, a lot of the MGTOW people would call him a simp because he married a gold digger. Okay, well, this, the, the president of the United States is a simp, obviously, okay? But he has money, and now he has power, and now so does that gold digger, so. Where does that leave the MGTOWs? Um, I don't know, probably upset, probably crying, probably cursing. Um, some of them might have even voted for Trump out of confusion, 
and you know lack of sex but you know their mind's not going to be in the right place um but like we like we uh, all figure out eventually is that the truth will prevail and come out eventually and everyone knows that the current state of america is exactly what is representing america donald trump and his wife okay you have the greedy the greedy men the ones who are hungry for power and success and money so that they can get any type of woman they want. Then you have the gold digger who is with the man just because of his money and what he can do and the lifestyle he can provide and the prestige and all that kind of good stuff. You have that, okay? Um, then you have the uh, children of all the different wives. <laughs> now, okay, the president has baby mamas, you guys okay so we're seeing america just everywhere we're seeing america all up in the white house baby mamas children from different um marriages we're seeing racism being exposed because of course it does not exist anymore but now as you can see it's come back up you know i think he was a trickster by exposing how racist america still really is you know that's the good another good thing that came out of it um, you know, he talks about foreigners and how he can't build a wall, but yes, yet his wife is a foreigner who posed nude. So you have a, a whore slut, gold digging prostitute, as y'all MGTOWs call it, as your first lady now. So, um, just saying, you can't, you can't, um, you can't change what already is and what America is becoming, you know. It's not going to go the opposite direction, okay? It's not going to go backwards. It's only going to go forward. And, you know, I'm, I'm sad to say that a lot of guys are, you know, just basically upset at themselves for not being able to be as accomplished as certain people so that they can get the type of woman that they really want. Or, you know, because most great leaders, most millionaires most powerful men do have a wife and um a lot of the, those wives were gold diggers you know and why would a woman not dig for gold what would she be digging for i'm just asking this is this is satire you guys i'm not <laughs> this is satire if you haven't figured it out by now but when someone calls you a gold digger, all you have to ask them is why would I be digging if not for gold? Okay, what do you want me to dig for? Okay, worms. You want me to dig for pennies? No, thank you. Okay, if you're gonna if you're gonna be digging, you might as well find gold, right? Ain't that right? Um, so ladies, don't let these men deter you. Gold digger is no longer a derogatory term. It is a goal, okay? It is saying, yes, of course I'm digging for gold. What the heck would I be digging for? Okay, of course, yes, I'm a gold digger if that's what you want to call it. Or maybe I just have high standards that you just can't reach. So you label me, okay? Or maybe it's because I don't place value on your ambition, but rather on what your accomplishments, okay? Maybe it's maybe it's because I'm very tangible and I don't, you know, I don't fall in love with potential, okay? Maybe I'm just more of a person that doesn't like to gamble on the success of my future generations of family. You can call me a gold digger all you want, but look, you know, I have exactly what I want. So, you know, mission accomplished. Um, but again, yeah, I'm making this video just to make some people mad because, you know, sometimes you gotta troll every now and then and it's fun. But um, <laughs> I love to troll. It's one of my pastimes, of course, as you already know. But congratulations to the first gold digging um, first lady. You made it. Dreams do come true. And now you're going to have to cut back on your luxury to live in the White House. <laughs> you can't take unexpected trips anymore to Fashion Week and stuff like that. So you're going to have to... You're going to have to, you know, pretend like you actually have a job and work and do some speeches or whatever. But it will be interesting to see what types of um, 
campaigns that they give the first lady, knowing she's a gold digger. <laughs> ah, this is gonna be hilarious, y'all. Maybe she can help some. Maybe she can help. You know, the the MGTOWs learn how to become men. Maybe that can be one of her campaigns. How to become a real man to attract a woman like me. How to become successful. Um, you know, <laughs> how to find a rich husband campaign, y'all. That's what she needs to be teaching, okay? How to marry... Uh, <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. Anyways, I'm just choking. I'm just joking with y'all and messing with y'all today. I didn't really have anything to talk about. So I was like, hey, let me talk about gold diggers. That's, I'm good at it. Why not? Um, but, yeah, I'm moving soon. That's why it looks a little bit different behind me and junky and messy. I have boxes here, boxes over there. So I'm getting ready to upgrade on my lifestyle because I did not marry a, I did not marry someone who couldn't upgrade me. Okay, I'll see y'all later. Bye.